today we're back at Wonderheart and we're after giant wild boar. But this time we're using this bad boy. My new bear anarchy bow. It's a beautiful Hungarian day and I'm keen to show off my fantastic new piece of kit to the boys at Wonderheart. We pull out the 3D boar target so both Tomo and Zoltan can test it out before we head into the forest. Both the guys are pulling their shots to the right and making excuses. They even begin to question my bow, but I know it's firing right and one arrow squashes the scepticism. I'm certain that given the chance, a big boar is going down today. That feels like I've been here for hours. The bush is really thick and it's really heavy going. Every time you put your foot down, I can feel beneath my boots a twig that's about to snap. Patience here is absolutely key. As Zoltan picks up the trail, he thinks he knows exactly where the pig is heading and we move quickly to head him off. There's a pretty dense piece of bush just along the way and the boar will almost certainly be heading there for cover. As the boar comes casually trotting through the bush, he thinks he's home and dry, but he's heading straight towards us. As he confidently turns and pauses, I take my shot. And it's a beauty! So as you can see, um, what I thought was the arrow coming out the other side was actually a half part of the broken arrow. So it looks like it's gone in, actually not that far, maybe about eight inches, uh, and then broken off. So it looks like it's gone through its shoulder blade. As it's moved its shoulder blade, it's broken the arrow. But as you can see, the, the blood here is just incredible. It's sprayed out all over the floor. It's laying in a huge pile of it. So clearly what's, what's happened is punctured one of the lungs and it's, ble it's bleeding out of its mouth. Uh, as well as out of the uh, the entry wound so it's a huge pig and to see it go down so quickly is just incredible i've shot quite a few pigs now and i've never seen one go down that fast zoltan himself who is kind of like the king of pigs he's never seen one go down that fast either so uh, you know these um these trophy xlt broadheads are really something else uh, the bow I've got, the Bear Anarchy, it's firing at 68 pounds, so there's a lot of punch in there. Shot it from about 8 yards, so it has a lot of penetration. So for the arrow only to go in that far and still break off gives you an idea of just how tough these animals are. But anyway, it's right here, didn't travel far, and wow, it's a big pig. The old Hungarian, actually German tradition, but the Hungarian traditions comes from uh, the German uh, hunting traditions that we uh, take three small pieces of uh, three ace actually and one is for the hunter one is the li uh, last uh, bite uh, for the uh, game this is the la mm -hmm. last uh, free food for him mm -hmm. and uh, one a bigger uh, to cover the wound yes okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If it's a male, it's that side, the female, this side. So, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Nice. And, yes, we have one got real. <laughs> we have we have the real hats, don't worry. It looks like the arrow's gone in, the arrow's broken. Um, but still the trauma is, is pretty substantial. The uh, this looks as uh, you're speaking to Zoltan like a, uh, you know, at some time in its history, at some time in its past, it has a little bit of domesticated blood, tapers in, doesn't taper in quite as much as at the back, there isn't a, an extended ridge on the on the rear and it's it has chubby cheeks. Yes. <laughs> so but still so, a magnificent yeah. animal. And how lucky we it's it literally came in maybe seven, eight yards away, stood, looked at us a second, said, what are you? Too late. It was slightly quartering onto us, so I took a little bit further forward, which is probably yeah, what... Yeah, so it's probably a, a good broadhead because it's gone through the, the most solid yes. piece of the ball, so you can be proud. Oh yeah, that's six, that, that uh, I think we've got to thank Bear Archery here. This new Bear Anarchy bow, I've not had it too long, set it up at Merlin Archery, so thank you very much Ben Jones, you did a fantastic job. <laughs> uh, it's shooting about £65 at the moment, uh, Eastern Full Metal Jacket arrows, and then the broadhead, you can't, I can't show you the actual one because it's, it's gone on the inside, but um, the uh, yeah, trophy, dark, tro trophy Ridge broadhead, 100 grains, 
and opened perfectly, as you can see from the star shape of the wound, went and did, it, did its job. I've never seen an animal go down so quickly. And dried out. Uh, it's, it's gone, isn't it? So you can see both lungs by the looks of it there, depending how far it went in. If you get the old, if you pass the old arrow. So clearly what we've lost in there, there's only about eight inches of the arrow still in there. But eight inches should be enough to take out both lungs. Yeah. Um, but he went down very fast. So, so why would a, a pig like this, with that sort of wound, go down so quickly? Because it literally just fell over. I think, I think you, you, can, you can get the, the heart as well. Well, we're going to cut it open and have a look yeah. in a minute, just yeah. how much damage it's been caused. Okay, so as you, as you can see, um, they've started to dress out the bore, and we were obviously the arrow was stuck inside. So here's the windpipe, and you can see that the arrow has indeed punctured both uh, both lungs, but it's also um, perforated the windpipe as well, which is one of the reasons it's probably gone down so fast. So here's the other end. As you can see, it's perforated both lungs, and as Zoltan's pointed out here, it's destroyed all of the arteries at the top of the heart. Here is the heart, and the most important shot you can take with a rifle or with a bow isn't actually the heart itself. It's all the arteries that sit above the heart that feed all of the, um, the muscles and all the rest of the body with oxygenated blood. With, with those gone, it's over in seconds, and as you can see, that's why this animal went down so fast. So, would you say that that's a perfect shot? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a textbook. So, textbook, heart and lung shot, and more importantly, Find the pressure. we've managed to retrieve <laughs> our broadhead. I might be able to use that again. But it's incredible, the, the force of the broadhead going in has actually caused the rear of the blade to cut into the aluminium skin of really? this arrow. You see here? Oh. So that's the mm. force of the arrow going in, has pushed awesome. the foil back into the aluminium shaft. Yes, because it was broken the stick here, I think, actually, or... No, it wasn't broken, no, it was no, just no, the no. sheer force. Of, a, yeah. The sheer force, yeah. that's 65, um, and these ones have all pushed in, yeah. yeah. That's that's some power in that bow. So what you can see here is as we, as we pull the arrow out, these foils are actually pointing a lot further back than they normally would do. The sheer force of the arrow penetrating through the shoulders caused the foils to bite into the aluminium uh, sleeve of this Eastern FMJ. That is a sh that's 65 pounds of draw strength at eight yards, but because of the sheer impact through the hardest part of this boar's body, it's caused the foil literally to fold back on itself through the aluminium sheet. Phenomenal pig, so thank you very much. Thank you, Wonder Hut. Thank you, Bear Archery. And uh, thank you, Realtree. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.